forced the community to push for a ban on assault weapons like the ones used in that attack. However, House Democrats are delaying a vote on that bill. WGN's Jenna Barnes begins our coverage tonight. She's in Highland Park once again with the story. Ben and Micah, I talked to an activist who's been standing shoulder to shoulder with the victims and the survivors since July 4th. She says politics is getting in the way of safety. I'm getting calls every day from survivors of a mass shooting. Like, why won't they listen to us? I'm like, we elected them. I have no idea. North Shore mom Kitty Brantner got to work hours after July 4th, mobilizing parents. <laughs> leading a march at the U.S. Capitol to demand a federal ban on semi-automatic weapons like the one used at the parade shooting. House Democrats had scheduled a vote on that ban Friday. Today, we were told by the House leadership that a bill, a federal ban on assault weapons, which is called H.R. 1808, is actually not going to be called for a vote this week. It's now been pushed to later next month, a delay Brantner says families can't afford. These weapons were quite literally designed to kill as many people as possible in as little amount of time. It's making sure politicians hear the voices of their constituents that say, ban this right now. Behind the scenes, Democratic leaders want to tie the gun safety legislation to a package that would increase funding for police to ensure both survive, because some Democrats may oppose the police legislation if it were independent. Of course, I share the disappointment. I, I wish we had voted on this last week. I wish we had voted on this uh, uh, a year ago or 10 years ago when I first got here. Congressman Brad Schneider, who represents Highland Park, says there are a handful of Republican representatives who'd support the ban and a handful of Democrats who wouldn't. The idea is expected to receive heavy opposition from Republicans in the Senate. We're just trying to make sure we've uh, locked everything down and want to make sure it passes when it comes to the floor. Gun rights groups like the American Firearms Association celebrating the delay, saying the fight is about people having the ability to defend themselves against a tyrannical government. Schneider is encouraging activists like Brantner to keep pushing. It's having an impact. It's making a difference. Keep the faith. We're going to get this done. Uh, God willing, we'll get it done next month. Every day that passes is another opportunity for another mass shooting to occur. And we won't let that happen. We can't. She's asking people who feel the same way to keep calling their representatives. Gun rights groups are asking their supporters to do the same thing. We're live in Highland Park, Jenna Barnes, WGN.